so we'll continue with the next part of the discussion in assets and bases and its salt chapter that is all this while we are studying something about the general properties of assets in the general properties of assets we have studied about the litmus action we have studied about the natural assets we have studied about the all factor indicate indicators we have studied about the synthetic indicator then we have also studied about the assets how they are reacting with bases and assets how they are reacting with the metals and how they were trying to react with salts also we are going to study in the future but right now we are going to study the next part of the uh, chapter that is properties of properties of bases if you go to the properties of bases these bases are also called alkalis bases are also called alkalis all bases are uh, bitter in taste soapy to touch and uh, they are corrosive in action and this basis they they change red litmus paper they change red litmus paper to blue they change red, red litmus paper to blue if you take bases just like acids bases reacts with the bases reacts with the metals to give salts and they liberate hydrogen gas example if you take example if you take you take NaOH is a base any which is a base plus metal you take zinc solid any which aqueous it gives rise to sodium zincite any 2 zn o2 plus h2 gas if you take so what you noticing is if you balance the equation there are two two sodiums and uh, two hydrogens and two oxygens so if you place two here the reaction is balanced so here this is sodium zincite this is sodium zincite what you are noticing is this sodium zincite is going to act like a salt and you can find that it is liberating hydrogen gas what you are noticing is always whenever we speak about the properties of bases this bases when a base reacts with when a base when it is reacting with the acid we add an indicator indicator that indicator the indicator is synthetic indicator synthetic indicator that is meoh the meoh of course it gives salt plus water plus energy but this meoh we call it as meoh it is called methyl orange me which is methyl orange this methyl orange in the unionized form in the unionized form in the unionized state it is yellow and in the ionized state same methyl orange me which in the ionized state it changes to red suppose if i write the reaction if you if i show you the reaction for uh, the methyl orange that is meoh methyl orange in the unionized state it is yellow it dissociates to form me plus plus oh minus and it changes to red color this is the principle of the methyl orange okay in the unionized state methyl orange is in the yellow color and in the ionized state it is red in color and that's why we always say 
that is always the methyl orange and we we are showing here this particular equilibria because it is a basic indicator let me watch it is a basic it's a basic indicator so basic indicator because it's a weekly organic weekly organic base it's a weekly organic base indicator it's a weekly organic base indicator if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus